and then I thought I might goodness <laughs> cat fight again it, they always seem to do this when I'm filming don't they hi dreamers welcome back happy Friday it is getting so close to spring I am so excited today I have my weekly makeup basket for you and of course this is the revealed three challenge week. So I will just start with the products that I have been using and let you know what's on my face. I do have um, kind of a preview. I have the Coastal Sense Revealed Smoky Palette challenge to do and then I thought I might go to another series of palettes. So I will be posting a, a quiz on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram seeing what you guys want to see next. Um, I'm Right now, I've, I'm kind of thinking about either Too Faced or Maybelline or Wet n Wild or Kat Von D. Those are kind of the choices that I'm toying around with right now because I have quite a few palettes from those series. If you want to see a full face tutorial for this look, it will be available on Monday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss that coming up. So first thing that I have been using for my primer, I've been using the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Smooth. This is probably my favorite drugstore primer. I think that it really does a great job and really makes my makeup stick all day long. For foundation, I've been using the Maybelline Better Skin. This is in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo, so you will probably be seeing this quite a bit until it's gone. Um, I'm a little over halfway done. This is in 25 Nude Beige. And I've also been using the Better Skin Concealer, which is also in that project pan. This is in Medium. This and the NYX HD Concealer are my favorite drugstore concealers. I've also been using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in light just to pop underneath my under eyes because I, my insomnia is back like full force and that's helping to cover up my under eyes. I've been using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I've been using the lighter color to set my under eye and I've been using the darker color for my contour. I did post a picture of this on my Instagram. I love these colors but the fallout is insane. Um, I've been using two different blushes. I've been using Ofra's Blush in Paradise Pink, which is what I have on today. I think it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I have been using a, an airbrush, um, the Sephora 55 airbrush to apply this, and so it's giving me a lighter wash than my other blush brush did, and I think I kind of like that lighter wash, but I do really like it when I get more payoff for this. Um, the other blush I've been using is this Duce blush, and don't let this fool you. This looks really, really light in the pan, but it is an absolutely beautiful color on, even for someone with kind of a medium skin tone like I have. Um, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram too because, good gosh, the fallout on this is insane, but I absolutely love it, and it's worth it, and this is in the color... Uh, 53. I don't think it, I don't see a name anywhere. Um, so yeah. Um, for my highlight, I have been using a combination of two different things. I've been using my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded, which is part of that project pan. I've been using this for my eye primer as well as my highlight on most days, and then the days that I've been using this as a highlight, I've been topping it off with just the pink side of my Candlelight Glow from Too Faced, and then some days I've been using just this as my highlight and swirling the two colors together. For my brows, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. This is this is like the holy grail of brow products for me. If you haven't tried it and you're a powder brow person, I highly recommend it. Uh, let's see. Obviously for my eyeshadow, I've been using the Revealed 3 palette. The colors in this are just fantastic. The only color that I, I only used once this week, and it was kind of because I forced myself, was this 
gold color because it seems really yellowy to me and I really don't do yellows. I just don't think that yellows look really great on my skin. I could be wrong about that. But I did use this as um, just kind of an inner corner pop. But the rest of the colors I'm just absolutely blown away by. I think that they're absolutely beautiful and if possible I think that this formulation is, is a little bit different than the one and the two. I think that these are a little bit more blendable. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble with the one and more specifically the two with some of the um, glittery colors that had kind of chunks of glitter in them. They were a little hard to blend and in those really really dark colors I think that they were a little bit more difficult to blend. But again if you have a color that is hard to blend or a drugstore color that, that you're, you're just having trouble working with just use a little bit, blend, add to it, instead of kind of starting full force. I really didn't have that struggle with this palette. I thought every single color in here was beautiful and very easily blendable. For uh, the rest of my eyes, if I can find it, I've been using this uh, Noir pencil hair all over here. Um, it's a Forever Noir. It's just a black pencil. Um, a very soft, soft pencil. It's a long wear eyeliner. I absolutely love this one. It really doesn't move a whole lot. It doesn't stay in my waterline very well, but I have never found a an eye product that stays in my waterline very well. I tend to have watery eyes and so that it just kind of doesn't stay, but it looks great as soon as I get it on and it stays on my tight line fantastically. It doesn't move and it stays on my lower lash line pretty well. I've still been using my Starlux Pro um, Lux Longwear Eyeliner. I'm absolutely in love with this and I'm just having trouble putting it down because I love it so much. Then for mascara, um, I, I actually used three different ones this week because I pulled out the greater than MDM flow to use as my mascara this week and that is what I have on now and um, partway through the week I had a request that was emailed to me to find um, a really good mascara that would give you long lashes that was affordable um, so I also was testing out these two mascaras the Maybelline Illegal Link which is a fiber extensions and the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I will have a full video coming up soon on the two of these um, as compared to a high-end drugstore mascara that I think really gives a lot of length and kind of comparing those three. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that video coming up. And then for um, my setting spray, I'm still using the Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. This is made by Scandinavia, who also makes their own setting spray, who makes the Urban Decay setting sprays, and this is just fantastic. This one I think is a little bit cheaper. It's $18 versus I think the Urban Decay is $20. So not a whole lot cheaper, but um, really absolutely fantastic. Um, so that is everything. The main lipstick that I've been using this week, I kind of went back to an old favorite, and that is my um, Maybelline Vivids, or this is the Color Sensational in the Purples uh, Magnificent Mauve, and it is what I have on my lips right now, and I absolutely, absolutely love this color. It's a nice satin finish. It's not too glossy. It's not matte. I think that um, matte lipsticks tend to age you a little bit and when you're pushing 39 like I am here in just a couple of weeks I don't want to look any older than I actually am so I just I just struggle with matte lipsticks but this is very comfortable it doesn't stay a super long time it definitely doesn't survive eating but that's okay because it's like six dollars so you can apply it as many times as you want to throughout the day so that is everything that I have for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to look for those quizzes that I have coming up for the next series that I will do for the weekly challenges. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.